Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and join the gang. So today I have brought you makeup. Okay, we are doing makeup today. It's been a minute since I've done my makeup. I feel like it really hasn't, but to me, I just haven't really been liking the way my makeup has been coming out. So when that happens, that means it's time for new routines, time to try new things, new products, go back to old ones. I don't know. So um, today I just wanted to do like this kind of, it's kind of like a trendy IG baddie, Instagram MUA. It's just given a lot, okay? I've, I've taken, I've dibbled and dabbled from a lot of places and pulled it all together for this look, okay? So if you're interested in seeing how I got this face, then just keep watching. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the brows. So I'm gonna use this NYX the brow glue. This is like a new product, I guess, and we're gonna do like fluffy brows because that's what I've seen a lot lately on like social media and stuff. And I don't know, I don't mind trying out new things in my routine just because you know if there's a new technique that comes out and it flatters my face better, why not try it, you know? It doesn't hurt to like try new things, especially for me since I get bored very easily with, um, you know, just regular makeup. I like to spice it up a bit. So we're gonna go all the way up and then we're gonna like slide it over because this right now is giving me Mr. Miyagi and that's not what I'm going for today. So I'm just going to use this to kind of shape it to my desired shape. And then I'm going to go in with my dip brow to fill in just any sparse areas. And then clean it up with a little bit of concealer. Uh, I feel like you got to move a little bit faster with this product just because I feel like it does dry quite fast. So... You can't manipulate it too much, but that's cool. So I'm gonna have my brows like that, and then I'm gonna go in with my dip brow, like I said, to fill in the sparse areas, mainly like the t the tail end, yeah. So I'm gonna wipe away most of the product, and then just like little motions like this to fill in the brow. Okay, so now that that's lightly filled in, I'm going to just clean up a little bit under my brow using my concealer. And I'm going to leave the top alone because we don't want that super sculpted look. So just going to edge at the bottom. Okay, so the brows are done. Um, They look really light right now, but I feel like once we do the whole face, they'll, you know, it'll just mesh together so um i'm gonna go on with my foundation today i'm gonna use my cover fx power play foundation and hopefully this matches me i've gotten super pale because i don't be outside like at all and i don't know my foundations just haven't been matching the best which is probably why i haven't been liking the way my makeup is coming out just because you know the base is just the wrong color right now just because you know I ain't been outside so um yeah hopefully this matches being so freaking pale is so annoying because honestly if we're gonna be real i would rather look i would rather my foundation be a little bit darker than a little bit lighter because i feel like um you can make a darker foundation work better well i can anyways i can make it work i can't really make a pale foundation work for me it's just I hate it. I be feeling like I look ghostly. It's just, ugh, it's not for me. Okay, I, I remember when I went to prom, I had um, a foundation. I didn't do my makeup for prom, but like I had a foundation that was too light for me. And when I tell you, I hated the way my pictures came out. I just hated everything about the way I looked for prom. I was not interested. It was not a hit. I did not care for my dress. Didn't care for the hairstyle. Hated my makeup. Like, 
everything about prom was just a no, okay? And on top of that, I ended my prom night early because I started my first day at work um, at Hollister the next day and they had me at an opening shift. So um, I came home probably like around two and I had to be at work at 6.50. Yeah, girl, I was tripping. I don't know who told me to get a job. I don't know what I was on. Like, I was trying to be Miss Independent, okay? I would never do that now. Like, I would, <laughs> I'm partying all night. Good job. No. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous even to think about that. But yeah, I just, I said all that to say, I don't like pale, like, I don't like lighter foundations because I'm just scarred from the way I looked at prom. It was just a hot mess. Hot mess express. Bucket of bucket. <laughs> hot mess express for sure. So, um, the key of like okay so the pictures that i'm going for that i've seen like the girls doing on instagram is pretty much a like very well blended base right a lot of highlight the highlight is insane and the bronzer is massive okay so i mean that's not really my typical look but i know it photographs very well so um it's gonna be a lot of makeup okay it's definitely not gonna be something I'm used to like I've tried to do this look two times already and it just kept ending up like it kept coming out like how I usually do my makeup because I just never let myself take it there but like today we're going there okay all the way no regrets <laughs> I'm gonna do it all the way so um if I look crazy just know I'm just testing this out, okay? This is just a tester to see if I can do the IG baddie look, okay? Okay, so now that that's blended, um, we're gonna go in with concealer. For the concealer, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Power Play Concealer in G Medium 1. So this one is more is one of my like more lighter concealers because like I said, the look that we're going for is like super highlighted. Is like very very bright so this is probably the second brightest foundation or concealer that I have because I don't feel comfortable using the other one <laughs> it's very bright I do it like this because I've seen on TikTok it bring it like lifts the face rather than doing like the whole triangle because that brings more attention to the center of your face which makes it look bigger I don't want my face looking bigger so we want it to be snatched so we're gonna do it like this and then blend upward okay and then I'm gonna do my nose just like that I don't know why my head was just turned like that I could not see what I was doing at all um, and then on my chin I'm nervous because I ain't used to this okay a lot of makeup like when I do my makeup differently it low-key scares me because I'm like if I don't like it I'm gonna want to wash my face immediately but I really just want to see if I'm capable of doing this look because I mean it is a look it looks really good for photography purposes I don't know how good it would look like in person because it is truly a lot of makeup <laughs> like a lot a lot of makeup but um yeah like everything is we're inside everything is photos okay so who cares what you look like in a photo I mean who cares what you look like in person as long as it looks good on a photo like who won't check you nobody once everything is blended very seamlessly um, we're gonna go into the contour. Um, I'm gonna use my KKW medium two stick. Uh, they need to come back in stock because I'm out. And we're going to put contour. You see how my natural 
contour line like the hollow is like right here you can see that with like no product so instead of putting it right here i'm gonna put it just a little bit above because again that's going to snatch the face and bring it upward so i'm just gonna put a little bit just right above like that and then also just on the temples um i do this because i want everything to blend out because my forehead is usually um darker than the rest of my face but i don't like to put it on like my whole forehead because it's already kind of small i don't want to shrink it even more like adding more shadows so i just do this side i'm gonna just do a little bit of the nose this isn't to like shape my nose in any way this is really just to bring the dimension back to my face and then under here because wherever you highlight you kind of gotta bring the shadows back so that and then I do like to do like right here under my jaw just to further snatch that and this stick is like done for this is the last use <laughs> okay so then I'm just gonna go in with my sponge just like the side where there's no foundation or anything and blend it out like that all right so now that everything is blended out on the face I'm gonna go ahead and use my face powder this is the Huda Beauty and I'm just gonna set my face <laughs> So I'm just going to take a little bit on this sponge and just like dot it on my face. This is going to be like, I'm going to be setting my whole face, but I want to um, really make sure that the powder is on my under eyes and then my T-zone and my chin because those are the places that get oily. So I want to make sure that the powder is especially pressed into those areas and then for like the rest of my face like my cheeks and stuff and my chin I mean my forehead I'm just going to like do a very thin light layer on those areas I'm going to dust everything away with my Sephora micro smooth powder in the shade tan and this is going to add some color give me like an airbrush kind of finish all over the face mm -hmm. I am going to go under my eyes to make them just a little bit brighter with this, if I can open it, this KKW, what is this, Brighten Powder, I don't know, this is in the shade 2, so this is going to just lighten up that area a little bit and give me that super dramatic highlighted look that a lot of girls have for like their pictures and stuff. It's just going to bring more attention to the under eye. Now that we're super highlighted, we're going to add the color back into the face. So I am going to use some bronzer. And like the makeup that I see, it's heavily bronzed, okay? So what I got is this Becca panama sun i don't know how to pronounce it but it looks like this it's kind of like i don't use it too much because it kind of has like a little bit of a red undertone in it and i don't really care for red um but this is like the most bronzier bronze color that i have okay so i mean you can definitely be heavy-handed with this stuff so i'm kind of nervous to use it but baby we need the bronze okay so I really hope I don't ruin my face okay let's just go and I'm gonna place it like up here and then like the temples like that and like I said they be bronzed okay so I'm gonna put quite a lot this shade is already like well, this product just gives a lot, so I won't have to do much, which is good, I guess. But it's just, I'm just not used to this. <laughs> Don't worry, it might look crazy right now, but we're going to go over it with like a sponge. 
with my um with my damp sponge and that'll kind of blend everything together because I know with a very like compacted brush like this it can look pricey but have no fear makeup is all about the finished product you're gonna look crazy up until the end guaranteed okay so now that that's on I'm going to use some more powder and just clean up a little bit under here because bronzer can get pretty wild so we just gotta knock it back into place because sometimes it definitely can get lower than you want it to be so the powder sitting here for just a minute is gonna just clean that right up and then I'm just just for the heck of it to see how bright we can do this I'm just gonna put one last layer up here and just see how much brighter it can get okay yeah we definitely look insane I'm not gonna lie to you okay so I feel like that sat long enough I just I'm eager to take this off because it can easily like a line can just be left there and it's hard to blend out so I'm just going to brush it away I'm going to go in with a blush this is the Milani Luminoso blush it's just like a very pink pink blush um, with some like shimmer in it and I be seeing they be wearing pink a lot I like to wear like orange it's more my speed but pink is cool so not gonna put it on the apples of the cheeks because that's going to bring more attention there and make them look like bigger and rounder and we want to be snatched so we're going to put this like right on top of where we put the bronzer just like slightly above it just to add some color it's like basically like right under my eye which I'm not used to the placement here but it does make it make your face do this rather than just this that makes sense probably doesn't but moving on so now that it just seems like we have a lot of product on our face I'm gonna take my sponge it's still kind of damp and take the side that has the foundation and just blend all of this it's gonna seem like it's not really doing anything I feel like you have to do it on your own face so you can really see the difference it's kind of hard to see the difference it makes on other people's face now I feel like I want to move on to eyes so my eyes are kind of small so I'm going to add like a lighter color just to open them up a little bit if your eyes are big you might want to add like a black or a brown just to kind of give you that sultry kind of look I don't know it's just a preference honestly whether you put like a nudish shade in your waterline or black I like typically I don't know I'll be jumping it just depends on how I'm feeling I did black yesterday when I did my makeup so I just want to do nude today I'm gonna do like a very small baby wing because I just don't want to take it there today and I feel like it suits my eye better when it's smaller so that's what I'm going to do. If you like big wings, if you have bigger eyes, then go for it. But my eyes are little and they're hooded, so baby wing is the way to go. Perfect. So now that the eyeliner is on, I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to the bottom. I don't really care for the top because I'm going to put lashes on and I feel like you can't see it anyways. So I just barely put any, just enough to like... So you can see that there's something going on down there but I'm not too fixated on like really putting it on every single lash so now for highlight I'm going to use my Mac Global my Mac 
global glow i don't know why i can't tell look so um this is just like a goldy kind of highlight and i'm just gonna put it right above and kind of on top of my blush and then some on my nose because it's cute and then just like a little bit above my brow like that just just like that and honestly just all over my face pretty much is what I should have said um so now that we're here I'm going to spray my face Okay, so you can just like dry your face like just with air, like with your hands, or you can just kind of tap it in like this with your sponge to further just press and blend everything together. Um, it's up to you, depends if you got time. I got time, so I'm going to do it this way. Oh, I actually completely forgot to put on eyeshadow. So, I didn't want to do much with the eyes. But I'm just going to use this gold palette by Natasha Denona. And I'm going to use this shade right here. It's just like a regular brown shade. And I'm going to take it just a little bit in the crease. Just to add some color. Obviously, I should have done this before spraying my face and the um eyeliner but it's okay it's no big deal so I'm using like this smaller like pencil kind of brush just to really deposit the color I know it looks crazy but um, I'm gonna use a fluffier brush like this one and just like diffuse it out And this is just to give some pizzazz on the eyes, a little razzle dazzle, nothing major, just, you know, it looks like we tried a little bit, even though, like you see how easy and careless I just did that. And then I'm going to go in with like a smaller brush like this and take some of that brown and run it under my eyes right here just to give your eyes a little character so now I'm just gonna line my lips with this brown this is a KKW nude 2.5 and I'm just gonna lightly line my lips um, I just follow my natural lip line because I just don't know why else, why you wouldn't. I feel like you can really see when you overdraw it. So I don't really understand the point of it. But hey, do you boo. Um, so I'm just going to line it and then use my finger to kind of diffuse the color a little bit. Like that it doesn't have to be perfect and then i'm gonna take this this is just like a nude um i don't think they sell this anymore this is a kkw super nude gloss um yeah just find something really light if you're going for this look i'm gonna need to find something else because i'm almost out of this one but um yeah i'm just it's just a nude gloss because lashes make the biggest difference you're gonna see in a minute i'm gonna blow your mind and then we'll close out the video okay so boom how do we feel um i told you lashes make all the difference okay so um this is the final look um honestly it's definitely a lot of makeup like from what i can see in my mirror i don't know if the camera like all the lights are like washing me out a little bit but um no, I feel like I diffused, I diffused the bronzer a little bit just because, like I said, I'm not used to it. But in person, like, it's still very much bronze goddess. Um, 
it's just probably not as bronze as like the pictures that I've seen. Um, I'll be, if I haven't already, I'll insert some pictures, but um, it's really hard to like get out of my comfort zone for some reason. I just, when it comes to makeup, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not a less is more kind of person, but I just feel like it, you can easily take it overboard so I know when to like stop myself when I feel like I'm piling on too much but I feel like this is really cute I think this will photograph amazingly um it's definitely like event type makeup this isn't like I mean to me like this isn't just like I'm chilling at the house unless I'm taking pictures like the same I'm going to the grocery store kind of face okay unless you just roll like that but for me it's a lot of makeup definitely think it's going to look great in pictures um so i'm excited to just see how it looks like through my like camera phone my camera phone how old am i i want to see what this looks like when i take pictures like on my phone because i think she's gonna look like it. it's not gonna lie to you okay so yeah, let me stop rambling and looking at myself. I think I did a good job, okay? Period. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all in my next video. Peace out.